season is underway and about 340,000 hunters are marching toward Utah's mountains. Many would think the start of hunting season would mean fewer poaching cases, but meteorologist Alana Brophy explains this is the time of year when poaching big game amps up. Conservation officers tell me poachers will ignore the signs, break the laws, and at times leave the entire animal behind. Also, they can shoot to shoot. Someone has shot it and just left it. And so something like this is an absolute wasted opportunity. The state and hunters want to narrow in on poachers. They've got no place in, uh, in hunting. Hunting is, you know, we're way more interested in conservation and these guys are just, they're, they're just scum. But this is the time of year where many know hunters are headed to the hills and it turns into an easy setup for a wildlife crime. We get people that will launder tags. They won't shoot uh, the animal that they have a tag for. Um, they'll shoot other people's animals. Uh, you know, and then it's an easy way to be out in the hills and no one would assume you're poaching because it's, there's a hunt going on. And Iron County is one of the counties with open poaching cases, and it's a crime that damages the herd and is a blatant attack on outdoor enthusiasts. Thinning out numbers can result in fewer tags the following season. It can hurt our population numbers. It takes opportunity away from other hunters. And it's really, it's, it's, it's theft is what it is. They're stealing the public's opportunity. And it comes with a price tag of thousands of dollars. Illegally hunting comes with fines, restitution, and possible felony charges. Officers are now out in full force patrolling, and it's not just for poachers. Well, this is the kind of year, the time of year that we, we start having violations where they're shooting from the roadway, shooting within 600 feet of a home. Um, and trespass issues and that kind of stuff. The rules are in place for a reason. DWR says the public is instrumental in catching poachers, so officers say don't be afraid to report the crime. There's nothing more frustrating than, than someone stealing from you. Keep in mind, each city in Utah has its own ordinance for what constitutes city limits. Hunters should be aware of that when they head out. Reporting in Cedar City, I'm Alana Brophy, ABC4 News.